Hi, this is Robert McCune, and this is EDL 850 School Law, Module 1. A little bit about me. Uh, I'm in my 13th year at North Kansas City High School, um, which is in uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, I teach AP Government, uh, IB History, Honors, U.S. History, and also a leadership class. Um, this is my first year not coaching. Uh, but previously, I had been a volleyball coach and a basketball coach. Um, and I'm in my second year with student council, um, which combined with the leadership class has kind of taken on a life of its own and we just keep finding things to do. Um, currently, I am working on switching from a specialist in education administration to a master's. Uh, I felt that the specialist didn't really fit with um, my goals and what I wanted to do and the master's kind of did. Um, I have two kids, uh, one kid, one actual kid and one dog. Uh, my nine month old Harper is fantastic. She's awesome. Um, and we have a dog, uh, Stella, a little Boston Terrier, who's awesome as well. Uh, I'm an avid sports fan. Um, I like watching everything pretty much. Uh, sports um, are part of my life. Um, football, basketball, I'll watch any Kansas basketball game. Um, love the Chiefs um, and we'll watch golf or kind of anything. Sports are a big part. Uh, as far as uh, reflecting and evaluating of district administration in terms of school law, uh, our district has uh, what's called a balanced scorecard uh, that has four components to it. Um, community, student, staff, and finance. Um, those are, um, each of them are taken from a group uh, in the community of uh, teachers, um, parents, uh, community members, and uh, given directive to the board, and the board selects from those, um, and that kind of comes up with their balanced scorecard. Uh, within each of those components, um, you have different ways of being, of kind of going and approaching that task, one of them being uh, staying within the current law, uh, for example, the student um, task in the balance scorecard, uh, you have to worry about FERPA violations um, and kind of just looking at different aspects of that. As far as our building is concerned, um, it is driven by an area of focus. Our admin team um, gets directive from the board and then they look at um, what needs to be done, particularly in our school. Um, and with that, we always have to show progress towards MSIP 5 um, and the Missouri standards and what the state wants uh, us to get done. Um, so in all these, you have uh, different educational aspects, but you also have to look at the law. Um, and as far as specific laws, um, it's just I think our district does a good job of um, posting what is applicable and what is not. Um, those are all housed online and I know teachers can access them and parents can as well. And then this, the last thing for our area of focus is our student support. Um, and um, everything that we do in the school should be for students um, and that student support aspect is vital but it also has to be governed by some legality uh, have you seen kind of an increase in social media presence um, and interactions between student and faculty members? As far as personal knowledge, um, I think the past couple of years I've gained a lot more uh, in this area. Um, I'm a member of the building leadership team um, for American Citizen, which is our government class. I'm the lead teacher, um, and that is an uh, EOC or end of course exam tested subject. Um, I'm on the superintendent's advisory board, meet with the superintendent about um, how he can help our school. Um, and then this year I'm on the superintendent's leadership institute, um, which gets people from all across the district and has them work on projects and um, do service time with uh, administrations throughout the district. And then I'm also a board member, a one year board member for uh, the education foundation, um, which helps um, provide financial opportunities for uh, multiple areas uh, in the school district. Um, ways I can improve, um, stay up to date on educational trends. 
uh, the legal aspects in education are constantly changing. Um, and so it's important to stay up to date and be knowledgeable about those. Uh, familiarize myself with school board policies. I've taken a couple classes that have um, made me dive into some of the things that they have, and that's been good. Um, but I think I need to do more, and I think this class will help with that. Uh, put myself out there for district initiatives. Um, doing those things can only increase my knowledge um, about administration, about district level administration. Uh, I can shadow administrators at all school levels, not just at the high school. Um, getting input from elementary school teachers, from elementary administrators, and then moving up to the middle schools as well, uh, I think just kind of gets you a complete picture of what needs to be done. And then interview the school's district attorney uh, to get his thoughts on um, major kind of education laws and what needs to be addressed. And then contrasting that kind of with the union president, see if there's some commonalities between uh, the district's attorney and uh, the union president um, and their perspective on the different issues. I look forward to working with you all. Thank you.